Hello and welcome to another Alias MD video. Today I would like to show the align tools in Alias sub D. Um, so I would like to show the align to curve tool as well as the align to surface tool. And to do that, I'm going to show you a demo uh, with this model that I've built. It's a um, minivan that I've designed and built myself. And I have used these tools um, to help me align some of these big gesture lines um, and, and get them to look clean, um, especially if there are major, major features in the design and you don't want them to be wobbly from different views. So um, to start, I would like to show you the Align to Surface tool and then um, I can do a demo on the Align to Curve. So to um, show you how I would use the Align to Surface tool, Let's say we have this um, uh, wheel op wheel well opening, um, and then we want to make it look clean in um, in the Y dimension. So you don't want it to look jagged. Let's say we have um, CVs that are doing something like this, and other ones that are doing something like this. Obviously, this creates a, a very jagged surface, and it's this is exaggerated. And normally, you wouldn't you wouldn't have something that deformed. But um, an easy way to fix that, instead of going in uh, and making sure everything is um, uh, aligned neatly by pushing and pulling manually, what you can do is create a curve. So I'm gonna. Um, uh, create a surface, sorry. So I'm going to create a um, surface from uh, here to here. Okay, and then I can also make, uh, put some crown on it, uh, like so. And then I can create another curve. This is going to be my uh, monorail curve and I can uh, make that a two as well and then I can just kind of come in here and give it some crown okay now it doesn't have to be accurate I've, just for demonstration purposes um, and I will now make my rail by picking on these two curves. Okay. And then I will um, isolate these two. And then I will then pick the, um, the CVs that I want to align to my surface. And then um, I can pick this row and this row. Just for now, I'm ignoring these other ones. And then, actually, first of all, I'm going to extend my surface because it looks like it needs to be extended. Just overbuild it. Um, it's a rule of thumb. It will help you out. And then now I go back to my sub D shelf and I'll pick this edge loop. I'll pick this edge loop. And then um, you have to pick by CVs. So I'm going to activate the CVs by picking on that. And I'm not going to. Um, select, oops, there, I did it again. So I'm going to pick this one and then pick this one, activate the CVs. I don't want to pick these ones over here. So I'll just unselect these by dragging over them and holding shift. Also don't want to select these ones. And now I will use my align to surface tool so double click on that to open up the box here and if you look at the projection direction is at closest but we want to project in y so in in this direction from um if i turn the grid you can see it's in y direction so that's the axis that we want to project um closest just um i think 
it works with normals. I'm not sure, um, but I think that's what it does. But um, Y is what we're going to use here. And then we're going to click this one, align to surface. And then we're going to pick our surface. And now, as you can see, these CVs have now been aligned to that surface. And the ones that we didn't are not. So um, that's a quick way to align to surfaces. You can see that actually my wheel wall opening wasn't even that clean. So, um, or maybe perhaps my surface doesn't really match what it's supposed to do. But as you can see, O sub D turned green. What that means is that we have history. So when I move this surface, everything else that we align to it will also move out with it. So all those CVs that we picked will also move out. And then um, obviously we don't want to do that, but I just want to want you to see that you can select to have history with it. Okay, so that's one way to use the align tool with wheel walls. Um, let me show you another way. Let's say we have this feature over here. As you can see, I've tried my best to make it look straight, but it isn't. There's some kind of uh, waviness to it. Um, one way you can fix that is by making a surface. So I'm going to go ahead and snap here and I'm going to just pull those CVs out like that. Then I will, oops, I will bring this curve to my center of my view and I will use the draft tool and I will make a draft this way. I'm going to use zero as my angle. All right. And then I can delete the curve. Don't really need it. Don't need history for that. And now what I can do is select these CVs and these ones as well. And then I can um, go to my Align to Surface tool, but this time I will do the Z axis. So I want to align up and down. And um, I will also turn off history. Most of the time that I use this tool, I actually choose to turn off history because sub D maintains some um, history by, you know, you can always re-edit the model. Um, unless you really, really want to come back and re-edit the surface, I usually don't, uh, but I showed you an option where you can. So I'm going to pick these CVs and then I'm going to click on align to surface and then I'm going to align to my surface. And just like that, I have aligned all the CVs to that surface. All right. So now we got a cleaner line. Another thing, uh, another reason why I don't really align, uh, use history for my surface is because I can just move the surface here and then I can align all of these CVs over here using that same surface that I just created. Uh, because I don't have any history on it. So again, align to surface. And then let me show you what happens actually with that surface highlighted. Okay. And just like that, it aligns. So it only aligns in the Z axis. So up and down, every CV um, is now aligned. Every CV that we have selected. So that's um, two ways on how you can use the Align to Surface tool. Um, now I want to move on to Align to a Curve tool. So let's uh, isolate our model here. And let's say we have this um, feature line here. And we want to get it really clean. Uh, we want to have some sort of crown going this way and some sort of crown um, going this way, but in sub D, I have so many CVs that it kind of becomes hard to align that. 
uh, to get a really nice clean crown. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a curve and I'm going to I'm going to um, snap it to this CV. Oops. I'm going to create a curve, snap it to this CV, and then I will snap it to this CV. Okay. And now we look at our curve. Oops. And then now we can add crown to it. Okay. Oops. Let's say we want to have some acceleration in it. Let's increase the CV count. And then we also want to add some crown this way. All right. Now, what we can do, I'm actually going to kill the history on the model, delete construction history. Okay. And then I'm going to select um, these CVs that have been affected or oh, that I want to affect. So I'm going to select that one and this one this one and all the way to this one. All right. And then I will double click on align to curve. I will turn off history. And then again, uh, for this one, I think I want to keep it at closest, as you can see, because it's not a surface. You don't have any direction, so I'm going to keep it at closest. And, and now I will hit Align to Curve, and then I will pick the curve. And all these CVs now should be aligned to that curve. All right, and, which is, by the way, different than the what we had there earlier. But uh, it doesn't matter. I just wanted to show you. You can copy the curve and redo it um, on the other row. So, or you can either, you can either copy. So you can see here, um, it's right on the curve. You can either copy it or you can, um, you can just move it because you don't have history. So you move it and then you do the same thing. And, um, you now select these CVs over here. So I'm going to select, oops, I'm going to select this one. And that one, I don't want to select these ones. These I can just do manually, the ones that are in board, because those are for a different feature. And then I can select that one. Okay, and then I can um, double click on align to curve, closest, and then align to curve, and then pick a curve. And now let's take a look at our feature line. It's it follows that shape crown that we made. It's um, nice and clean. And we don't have to move every CV in that um, in that row that uh, involves the feature line. So it saves us time. And it's cleaner. So I do want to warn you, however, about using the align tools. Um, let me just hide this model. Oops. Um, actually, let's just hide that and that. Um, I can delete these. Um, what I want to show you is um, how this align tool actually work. So. Um, uh, I will make a simple plane and then I will scale it. Does it need to be that big? Um, and then I will create um, some uh, uh, edge loops here and 
here and here and here. All right, okay. Then I will just bring it closer to this curve. Okay. Let's give this curve a more dramatic crown. All right, and then we can give it crown in this way as well. So that way it has a shape that looks like that. And then now we can grab this row of CVs and let's crease it so that um, it gets uh, uh, the, the, you could see the crease when we align it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick these CVs and I'm gonna hit align to curve and then I'm going to align to this curve. So now what it did, it aligned it to that curve. But if I were to just turn off my model, both uh, the curve and the sub D model, you can see here that it doesn't actually match the shape of the curve perfectly. The reason why that is, and this is uh, one of the downsides of uh, sub D, one of the disadvantages is that the only way you can calculate how to align the CVs to the curve is by aligning the CVs, not what the actual shape that it's uh, making. So you can see it actually aligned every CV right on the curve. Okay, but our shape isn't. Now, one way to, um, to um, fix that is you can uh, just increase the shape of your curve um, and uh, just make it more dramatic so your model could match your initial design that you wanted. So now um, I'll just um, select uh, this row again and I will now realign to that curve. Okay, and so now it uh, is probably closer to what we wanted because um, our curve is more dramatic, um, even though it doesn't match it. But that's one way to get around it. So I just wanted to give you guys a warning that the align to curve tool and the align to surface does the same thing are not entirely accurate because they're aligning to the CV, not what the actual shape is doing. So yeah. Um, that's it for today. Um, a pretty uh, short video. Just wanted to show um, uh, the way I use the um, the align to surface and align to curve tool. And uh, I hope it helps you with your process and get cleaner uh, crown surfaces. And thank you.